This video is for anyone who is wondering what in the heck and bob do I bring into my summer essentials wardrobe. And these are pieces that are going to transcend trends. These are pieces that you're gonna pull out time and time again. You're gonna feel like you have something to wear. You are gonna look so beautiful. Yeah. The power of fashion. Whoa. Hello beloved friends, my name is Libier and I make videos most every week on beauty, style, and inspiration. It is my absolute joy and hope to give value to your everyday life. My hope is that you would go into your closet and you would think the thought, I have something to wear. Okay girl, okay, let's go. I curated a very neutral palette for you that has a little bit of color because I know some of you still like colors. We're gonna start with a few basics that I think are crucial in your wardrobe. A white, tan, and black cami. These get me out of so much trouble. These are nice because they're fitted and they're ribbed and they have a nice little cutout here so they're kind of interesting and pretty. Now in the t-shirts department, I would also say that a basic white t-shirt that is crew neck is absolutely crucial in the wardrobe. Next t-shirt that I would say is crucial is a linen or cotton black tee. And this is a little more loose fitted. You can always get different lengths and different cuts to your preference, but I think that having a crew neck instead of a v-neck makes it look even more polished and a lot more classy and sophisticated. Next up is a striped tee. This color, you can pick whatever you like. You can have red, you can have black and white, any color of a striped tee that you want. I like navy blue, makes me feel more summery. And I just love this. This is such a really pretty option that you wouldn't think to put on with some really beautiful trousers. Playing and, and making juxtaposition with your outfits is super important. So if you're wearing a very basic t-shirt, you can pair it with some really nice trousers you can pair it with a really beautiful slip skirt you and you could also do you know little shorts um, white shorts would be really pretty with this and little white sneakers I think that would be great the next one is the graphic tee I love this one because it's long and right now I am into bike shorts you guys I love bike shorts so I, I love this t-shirt from suburban riot and it's so cute it says rather be at camp <laughs> all of these pieces are linked down below for you so that you can shop with ease. When you are conscious of a color mood in your wardrobe, you're essentially giving yourself the opportunity to maximize the wearability of your clothes. So, for example, this one wasn't a haphazard pick for me. This is the neutral colors that I love, and then I picked the emerald green color in the print because I have a lot of those things already in my wardrobe, and I can pull from those, and I just feel like everything feels cohesive it just gives your mind just a little bit of ease to not have to think about does this match with this does that match with that i am truly mindful of the fabrics that i'm bringing into my closet i in summer do not wear any polyester any uh unnatural fabrics one I figured out that those make my armpits smell bad. And I thought it was me, you guys. I was like, ew, every time I'm in the sun, my armpits get gross and sweaty. And I really thought that it was me. Well, you know, I could use a little bit of help with deodorant as anybody, and I can definitely use a shower daily. But the polyester was creating this nasty smell in my armpits that now, when I wear natural fabrics like cotton and linen and silk, it does not happen, you guys. The fabric is natural, so it's breathable, and it won't make you feel suffocated. It'll make you feel cool when you sweat. It'll really evaporate quickly and dry. Some of the long sleeve tops that I think are worth having in your summer wardrobe a long sleeve striped button-up shirt this guy is so versatile you can put it over a little spaghetti strap shirt you can put it over a little guy like this you know I'm wearing just a little bandeau and then I pop on a nice flowy shirt over it so I don't feel too ugh, but I also feel chic and elevated and this one specifically is just so nice I love it it's soft I can also put it around my waist if I need to. It's just a really versatile piece. Another thing that I love having is a linen long sleeve 
shirt to pop on over swimwear that I have. And this shirt is just so nice. I also have another linen shirt, but it's not as long and it's a little more of a dressier type of shirt. And this one I use so much. It's so lightweight, but it goes with anything. You can put it with shorts. You, you can tuck it into trousers. Another piece that is essential in a summer wardrobe is a linen white blazer. I'll tell you what, this will get you out of a bind if you need to go to somewhere that's a little more fancy like you're going on a job interview or somewhere where you kind of need to look a little more presentable but you also don't want to die of the heat <laughs> you can definitely get one a linen jacket and you don't have to have white you can get a beautiful pink blush that is a really pretty color you can get darker colors but darker colors are always tricky in the summer because they get so hot so that's why i think white would be really nice you can pop this on over anything and it will make the outfit look super elevated nice and chic see we instantly mean business see how that just transformed my look absolutely breathtaking right you can put this even over your shoulders if you don't want to pop it into your arms if you're going to a wedding or something and you're wearing a, sh a little dress but you want something to just cover you just in case it's a little chilly in the morning or at night or in your office if you are going into the office now now we're going to go to one of my favorite parts of my closet the dresses i love dresses you guys this is a linen dress that is absolutely gorgeous and this was from in other stories they don't have this dress anymore, but I will find something that is very similar to this and I'll link it down below for you guys. This linen dress has been with me for uh, quite a while now and I have had a lot of really beautiful outfits. I've styled it up so many different ways. So I think it would be an incredible piece for you to own. This one was a little pricey and I feel like it was totally worth it because I used it so very many times. This white Michael Kors cotton dress is a new addition to my wardrobe i did use it as a part of my shoot for eloquent magazine as well and it is a beautiful fit i love that it's long sleeve because it's you know in some some days you just don't want to show your arms you know if you're anything like me you're working on your biceps <laughs> okay <laughs> this one i picked because i thought it was beautiful you can cinch it at the waist and belt it and make it look super beautiful with different accessories and make it look like a different dress every single time you wear it but you can also wear it loose and have it be super romantic and effortless and just ugh, you know let it all hang out kind of a thing um this dress is just really beautiful i think it's adorable and it is still available and i will link the exact model <laughs> model <laughs> i'll link the exact style down below for you another neutral color of a dress that i think is absolute must have a black dress you know a little black dress that is a cotton dress would be a great fit into your wardrobe because it will be that dress that you go to when you want something more like you know you want an outfit that's a little more intense i guess uh sophisticated being with the cotton rule you're going to be nice and cool you can wear it with so many different purses and dress and dresses purses and uh, belts and shoes and it's just really cute I, think I love the really pretty detail of this dress i think it's gorgeous another two options of dresses that i think are a must-have are two floral dresses that are kind of one subdued floral and one a little more of a bold color okay so i have two options for dresses that i love this one is a really beautiful mint color i love mint green i think mint green is one of my absolute favorite colors this dress looks so romantic it's super pretty i actually thrifted these that is my biggest tip to you if there are items that you're kind of like oh these are going to be a little bit trendy pieces that i'm going to bring into the wardrobe i suggest going to a thrift store going to a second hand store for these items i did not spend 100 percent of my money on these items because i feel like prints and color are always under scrutiny of my mood okay sometimes i don't like the print that i brought into my wardrobe and if you're buying all these pieces brand new it's a lot of money you guys so i suggest spending the majority of your budget that you have for your clothing on the neutral essential basic pieces like the pieces that i showed you at the beginning of the video now all of the florals like you decide what color floral do you want to bring into your wardrobe but really consider thrifting these items because it will save you money i only paid ten dollars for this one and i only paid like 15 bucks for this one and they 
are some of my most complimented dresses of all time. That's funny, right? I kept true to our color mood. I kept the emerald green and the mint green with it. See, we're learning, learning together. Two essential pieces that I think are crucial in your summer wardrobe are a beautiful long spaghetti strap dress that you can go on a date on, girlfriend. Okay, this is a must in whatever color that you feel excited about. I got this in this color because I felt like it went good with my skin tone, but also because I hardly have any color in my wardrobe. If you don't have a spaghetti strap already at all, I would suggest going with something neutral so that, that yes, you can wear it with everything, but if you want to make it a fun thing, pick a color that is beautiful. This specific dress is available right now and I love the way that it fits. It fits like a dream. It fits so nicely. And this is something that can transition into fall because you can pop a little sweater over it and some boots and you have got yourself from summer to fall, even to winter if you want. You can put leggings under it, you can put a coat over it. Another summer staple is a long midi dress. This one specifically I think is so pretty because I wanted to bring in a dress that was a color that really suited my color palette. So this actually goes really well with a lot of the colors that I have in the closet. So that green color would look super pretty with it. Red looks super pr pretty with it. Like see if you wore this and you popped on a nice little red accessory. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. And I love this dress because it has pockets. <gasps> I will link this down below. I don't know if it has sold out or not. It is an amazing dress. It's from Target and I feel like a dream in it. And I actually wore this with sweater on top of it for one of our vacations because um, it was a little chilly where we went, but it looked so pretty. I had. I happen to have a lavender sweater that I bought from a thrift store and I put it on top of this and it looks so nice. I think having a pair of black and ivory linen high-waisted shorts is a really good idea. These are nice because they are not tight-fitting. They fit really beautiful, like almost like very um, in between a Bermuda and a normal pair of shorts, but I really love, I don't really like the Bermuda style because I'm, I'm 5'1 and a quarter and those Bermudas <laughs> look like pants so I have to be careful what I wear um, but these are so nice I love them I think having a pair you know one of each color is essential another pair that I think is essential are these high-waisted aren't these so cute these are from Target I love these the reason why I love these is because of their color I think it's beautiful and I think it's not a neutral but it is a color that is going to go well with all the other things that I have in my closet. So. Okay, as far as the shorts department, I feel like having one pair of ivory colored shorts is gonna be a really good idea because these are gonna be really nice when you are off duty, but they're still gonna be so elevating your style because of the color. I bet you anything if you pop these on with any of the camis that we talked about at the beginning of this video, you are going to be set. Like if you put this on and just little sneakers, how stinking cute. You are gonna look so beautiful. You are gonna look so beautiful. You're already beautiful, okay? Let's not get that wrong. You're already a queen, but when we dress up what God gave us, like, as far as pants go, when it's super hot, I tend to not wanna wear pants, but some days you can bloat it or you didn't do yourself tan or just whatever the heck and bubble. Even if you are a fan of shorts, you still, I think, should have some long pants that are linen and beautiful and flowy and like almost like beachy like in your wardrobe because they do get you out of binds on days when you don't want to wear the shorts. I think having two pairs, one black, one ivory, is essential to your summer wardrobe. These are beautiful, they're just super lightweight. I brought both of these to my Cabo solo trip. I'm going to link that down below for you if you want to watch and i love the way that i look you're gonna look so sophisticated they're gonna like who's that girl i do not like to wear jeans in the summer you guys but i do believe that there is a place for light wash jeans in the summer especially if you're maybe going out on a date at night and you want a little more sturdy something or other if you're going you know shopping in the morning at the farmer's market i would go for a light wash with that and then brings me to my other point, which is having a whatever type of fitting white jeans that you 
enjoy. I really personally like a high-waisted, tapered on the leg type of look. But right now, we you know there's a lot of things going on with wide leg and beautiful wide leg pants. I think would be cute, especially with a white jean. And also in my free downloadable checklist that I made for you that is linked down below. It's free, you guys. You don't have to do anything. You just download it and start checking your list off. I know if you're anything like me, you love checklists. Now, I have two options of bathing suit. It is so pretty. The only thing is that it does leave you a pretty gnarly tan because it's just like so if you kind of already worked on your tan and your back is nice and tan, it might be a good idea. But if you're just wearing it, just beware. The tan lines are funny. Um, but this is a gorgeous, gorgeous idea for our color mood we have going on. I mean, it has that green color that we love. It has this peach color that we love. And it has that fuchsia color. See, this one is in the dress. Ah, you didn't know, but you didn't know. But now you know. I also have this emerald green one from Target it is absolutely gorgeous I love the color it's super beautiful it has a really nice back with the V here so these two options I think are so pretty together like if you're going on vacation and you wanted to have that kind of air of like your stuff is cohesive together you're a brand your color mood <laughs> your color vibes you know, you want to feel like that as you're going into your vacation. These two colors are so play so nicely with each other. Another thing that I think is essential is a cover up for the pool. Like I said, I do use my linen pieces for covering up most of my most of the time, but I did just get this little one that's black because I didn't have a black one for my black bathing suits. And I think it's a beautiful, beautiful piece. It's from Nordstrom Rack, so I will find something that is similar to it down below. We did it. I, I cannot believe that we are done, you guys. This is amazing. Oh, man, that was long. If you stayed with me through the whole video, I am so grateful for you. High five to you. High five. High five. You're amazing. Thank you so much for being on my channel and I hope this video brought you so much value and I pray that every time you go into your closet after you have your very well curated summer essentials wardrobe that you never think the thought I have nothing to wear and I pray that you know that when you're dressing yourself you are dressing someone who is super special super important to God you were made for a reason you were made with purpose on purpose and your heavenly father is so pleased with you the Bible says that he is over you singing and delighting in you. Can you imagine God singing over you and delighting in who you are just because of who you are? Not because of what you do. Not because of anything else, but just the fact of who you are. I pray that that will seal your heart this week and that you would go in into your closet getting dressed like every fiber of your being that it would know that you are important. You're important. You're important. And it's important for you to dress the part. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what piece was the most surprising to you. I would love to know. Adios.